And if you're chasing a story, it's about a high school kid who's got cancer, who was found lying unconscious in the school bathroom after being beaten up, and he got suspended. What do you got? Bill, that's exactly right. Julia Morales is at her wit's end. Her cancer-stricken son, the new kid in school, uh, she says was bullied relentlessly at Becton Regional High School in East Rutherford. Administrators, she adds, didn't lift a finger. And, I, and that's when I told the principal, what do you want me to do? Like, what kind of evidence do you want me to show? There's nobody coming forward for him. Bill Julia says her son was called Cancer Boy and other names by tormentors and was finally found by a teacher on a school bathroom floor, having been badly beaten by another student. There's allegedly video, none of which has surfaced. Julia and her attorney, Pat Gaswaldo, are backing their claims up with documentation, and they're calling for a system-wide criminal and uh, civil rights investigation. Put a button on it if you can. How do you summarize uh, this whole thing, and what do you all want? Evil. I summarize it as evil and horrible against these kids, and she doesn't want money. Nobody wants money. We just want justice. Look what they've done. We can prove every fact that we've said has been proven. It's right there in black and white for all of you to see. And Bill, honestly, here you have it. You've got uh, insurance forms detailing the injuries. You've got a UMC Hackensack psychiatry saying the boy has got anxiety and panic attacks as a result of the beating. There's even a letter here uh, to Governor Christie, which was returned, saying that the governor uh, would look into the matter. The school board's attorney released a statement saying that he can't say much, but that the school acted appropriately and within the guidelines of the law. But uh, then you look here at this page, and you've got a form where the school actually suspended the young victim for three days for being party to the fight. They must have had some reason for suspending him. And the question is, did he start the fight? Because cancer or not, you also don't have a you know business getting in, uh, getting into a physical confrontation. The reason given, according to the documentation, according to the school and their document, is that he's an equal party in the fight. I mean, it, it really, really judges character when you're making fun of somebody that has cancer. And I'm shocked that nobody came forward before this turned into a fight. If he really was being called cancer boy, I am so appalled. School, other students, the family didn't step in right then. That's that I think is what's most. You know, it's a good point, Jillian. And Hank, it's also if if somebody's picking on you like that, and you're going through that, and you you know, if the kid defended himself and he punched one of these punks in the mouth, eh, you know what? It's not the worst thing either.